Who lives in a pineapple in Granny's backyard? It's SpongeBob SquarePants. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Granny. Outwit has blessed us with yet another mod. And for that we are thankful because this mod is weird. As you can see, something strange is happening at Granny's house. I don't know why Granny looks like she's made of aluminum foil right now. This is a little upsetting, but you may have noticed this blue kind of background behind Granny. Uh, I, I don't think we can, we can't really walk through this. It's affecting everything. Apparently Granny has a new neighbor and this neighbor moved into her backyard, which is just, it's impolite. I would say. So let's turn no clip on and investigate, I guess. I, I don't know, can Granny make it through? Okay, so she can go through that blue field of blueness. That's the scientific term. Okay, so I've turned no clip off again. And if we run into any more blue walls of blue, again, that scientific term, then we'll just turn no clip back on. But we've got to get to Granny's backyard. <laughs> Granny, you look very strange. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Let's step into the backyard, shall we? Oh, I see blue. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, that's super weird. Uh, yeah, th there's the sky is blue and uh, you might even be able to make out some of those shapes there. They might look familiar to you if you're a fan or have ever watched SpongeBob SquarePants. And there it is, Granny's new neighbor. Apparently SpongeBob lives in Granny's backyard now. Uh, this is a very strange addition to the game, I would say. Now, I don't believe that SpongeBob is actually in the game. I think only his house is here. I guess SpongeBob is out on vacation or something. But I will show you guys if I go into the NPC menu of the Outwit Granny's Cookies mod. You see, we now have the option to spawn SpongeBob house. And of course, that is the pineapple that you see right beside me and aluminum foil granny. We also have the ability to spawn Harrowbrine, which is a, a Minecraft thing. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn this, this fella. Hello. Oh, wait, where's your face, dude? Wait a second, are your arms backwards? Oh my. Oh, I don't know if your arms are backwards or your head is on backwards. I think you put your head on backwards, pal. I might want to reach out to, to a, a medical professional for, for some help there. This is very strange. Can we turn Granny into this fella? We can't. We don't have the option. How strange would it be? Oh my gosh, I just got an idea. Okay, wait a second. We can turn Granny into objects that we've selected, right? So what if I select Harrowbrine? I hope I'm saying that right. I've never actually said that word out loud. I've read it many times, but I've never actually said it. Anyways, now that I have Harrowbrine selected, if I go to the NPC menu and I say Granny object, Granny becomes Harrowbrine. Yeah, yeah, that, okay. That is, that is something else. And might I add too that uh, it's Harrowbrine with its head on backwards. Okay, well, if we can turn Granny into Harrowbrine, then the next logical step is to try to turn Granny into a pineapple. Perhaps a pineapple of the home variety that a sponge would live in. I think you guys have figured out what I'm getting at. If we can select this thing as an object, we can turn Granny into a pineapple. Let's see, object. House? I mean, that seems appropriate. I don't think there's anything else around here that would qualify as a house other than Granny's actual house, but you can't like select Granny's entire house. I think we're onto something. Let's go to the NPC menu and let's say Granny object. Whoa, duh, she's, oh. I'm getting, I'm getting beat up. I'm getting pushed all around. Oh my gosh. I have, uh, I've successfully turned Granny into a pineapple. Oh, Granny, wait. Okay, this is a new trick. Um, I do not have no clip on, but I am outside of the map. This has never happened before. I mean, Granny's never been a pineapple before either. So, you know, that's a whole thing. Um, yeah, this is weird. So apparently when you spawn 
SpongeBob's house. It spawns this sand, you know, like the ground in Bikini Bottoms. And it spawns the sky. It's almost like it spawns like this big giant dome. It's kind of weird. I want to kind of get a sense of what's happening here. And I don't know if this dome and the sand and all of this stuff is moving around with Granny. It doesn't appear to be moving around with Granny, you know, because we turned Granny into the house, but I don't know if we turned Granny into the, the rest of the stuff that comes with the house. Does that make any sense? I'm going to turn no clip on. We're going to fly around. I just, I want to, okay. So it is a dome. <laughs> it just, it made like a bubble. And that's why we saw that when in that spawn room, we had this blue wall because this is like a portion of that bubble that it created. Now the question is, can I delete this? Let's see. I, I hit object skybox. I think that'll work. So if I say destroy object, the bubble is gone. And now if I go back out in, into the into the darkness, um, yeah, you can see the, the skybox, that, that weird dome that was over the whole entire house, is now gone. But the sand is still here. That's pleasant. Is the sand a separate thing, too? Let's see, object. Can I, can I select? Object 001. That, I don't know. That seems a little vague. If I hit destroy object, stuff could get weird. I'm still gonna do it, though. Hit destroy object. But, yeah, okay. Object 001 was apparently sand. Very, very weird. Now, where's my pineapple friend? Where did she go? Granny. <laughs> it's like, it's like she's trying to hide, but she doesn't realize that she's a giant pineapple house. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, I'm gonna turn no clip off. I'm gonna turn God mode off as well, just to see if I can get a, a pineapple person house to hit me with a bat, you know? Cause that would be pretty interesting. I don't know if, if she is upstairs. Is she upstairs? Oh, there she is. The, the pineapple, she can't hurt me though. <laughs> Got to admit, this is pretty good. This is, uh, this is definitely some next level shenanigans here in Granny, turning her into a pineapple. My gosh, it's beautiful. But I think I'm gonna have to try another experiment here. Uh, let's turn no clip on and let's kind of fly above Granny's house. And essentially what I want to do, since I'm up here where it's kind of safe, I guess, is spawn another one of the SpongeBob houses. So let's spawn the SpongeBob house. And as you can see, there it is in the dome of, of protection. I don't know. But now, uh, can we turn Granny into the ground, the, the sand? It was a separate object that we were able to delete. So the logical conclusion is that yes, we can. And so we will try. Okay, I think the next step is to make it smaller because I don't want Granny running around as a giant piece of sand. I just want her to be a little piece of sand to see if this works. That seems... That seems pretty good. It's almost like we're just gonna turn her into a puddle. Kinda looks like a, a puddle of, of vanilla pudding. We're gonna turn Granny into a puddle of vanilla pudding. Hello, Pineapple Granny. We're gonna turn you into sand now, hopefully. So we will go into the NPC menu. I wanna watch this happen. All right, Granny object. Granny? Gran granny? Where'd she go? Granny, wait, no. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I was not expecting her to be standing up. Now, why doesn't it do that with the pineapple? I wanted the pineapple house to stand up. I wanted the sand to lay down. It does the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Now she just looks like an uncooked pancake. Granny is just a dollop of pancake mix walking around. More like floating around. Where'd she, where'd she go? Pancake mix granny, where are you? I miss you. She's opening a door. I hear her opening a door. Let's ring the bell and see. There she is. Hey, Pancake Mix Granny. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Well, we turned her into sand. Now let's turn her into sky because why not? So let's fly back up to our SpongeBob enclave at the top of Granny's house. There it is. And then I should be able to select this as a skybox, right? Let's see, I'll get a little bit closer. 
Skybox, there we go. Okay, same concept. I wanna make it smaller so that she's not just an enormous skybox flying around and pushing us all over the place. That seems like a pretty good size for a skybox dome granny. So now we need to go find her. Where is our little pancake granny? Where did you go? This is so weird. All right, I'm gonna turn no clip off. And, oh, she was there the whole time. She's so sneaky. All right, granny, it's your time to become the sky that you always wanted to be. Granny object. <laughs> there she is. She looks like a contact lens. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Kindly Kian, turning Granny into a Bikini Bottoms contact lens since 2019. I, I couldn't be more proud. This is just so bizarre, and I kind of love it. Now, I think we tested this before, but if I go to one of the endings, if I initiate one of the endings, I think Granny goes back to her normal self. Let's just see. Let's do the game over guillotine, and we can watch it. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> there's a piece of the pineapple chimney still kind of hanging out outside, which is very strange. And Granny is still made of aluminum foil, which is also very strange. But, uh, but she's not a Bikini Bottoms contact lens, which is, you know, it's a little disappointing. What can I say? I wish that I could get my head chopped off by a Bikini Bottoms contact lens. But you can't always get what you want. I'm not gonna lie. This was a very, very strange episode of Granny. But I kind of loved it. Shenanigans, just like this one, are the kind of things that I like to do on this channel. So if you've never watched before, be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more weird stuff happen to Granny, like turning her into a pineapple or a pancake or a contact lens. But guys, that is gonna do it for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.